I did a LinkedIn video about leadership that came out yesterday, and that was one of the key things, is just saying thanks. You know, it's, it's far, far too easy not to acknowledge great things that people in your team do. Um, you know, it, supporting them, building them up, giving them self-esteem, saying thank you, you've done a great job. Um, so yes, trust communication. You know, you need to be motivational, you need to be inspirational. Um, and then you need to guide your team and give them the skills and install the values, although values are pretty much in people already, but values of your company so that you're, you're both together. Everybody needs a common, common goal and your common goal needs to be something that each employee has, has a contribution to make to the overall vision of your company, where you want to be in the end. Um, so they're all contributing to that, to that final goal. Um, rules of the game, everybody has to have rules in there so that people do follow how your company should be portraying itself when, it, when it's in the, uh, in the public domain. Um, so you have rules of the games, so you have an action plan of how you're going to do things, um, how people need to progress within the company, what they do, how they do it. Um, supporting risk taking is, a, is another big thing. Everybody's got to take risks. I guess business owners take the biggest risks of all. Um, so if nobody ever took a risk, we probably wouldn't have any companies. You know, it's, it is a risk, but it's worth, risks that are worth taking. Um, so we need to support that from our employees as well. They know the rules of the game, so they know where the boundaries are, but taking those risks is very important. And I'm sure Joanna will agree, it, it's very much, Communication with your employees as a boss, you know, involving them, uh, inclusion within that company, giving that satisfaction, that feeling of belonging and wanting to be part of the company. A lot of things with employees is they want to be part of the company. What are the, the best employees are the ones that, that really do want to work for you as a company. They, they understand your vision, they understand your mission, they understand your values. We, we quite often say when you're hiring somebody from a recruitment point of view, um, it's always hire slow, fire fast. Um, you know, when you're looking for somebody to work with you in the company, don't, don't base it on skills. Skills are a part of it, but don't base it on skills. Base it on values. You, know, you have to base it on their passion, their spirit, the commitment that they're going to give to your company. Um, that's one of the most important things, way more than skills. A lot of people get a CV and go, oh, they've done that, they've done that. Oh, they'd be a perfect fit. No. But it is really key to make sure that person, that there's a phrase, um, getting the right people on the bus and also getting people sitting in the right seat on the bus. You know, you may get um, uh, employees that are not so great in one role, but they've got your company in their heart, you can move them to a different role and they'll be fantastic at a slightly different role. You need to get them in the right seat, but the key thing is they've got to have that value-based um, principle that is in line with your company. It's hugely important.